Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then I request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get my video notifications. So today's recipe is Aludam. It is one of the most simple and basic veg curries of India. This is a recipe which needs no introduction. A dish liked by one and all, made across almost every home in various ways. So today I am going to prepare one aloo dam dish without onion and garlic. So without wasting time let's start. Here I have taken 500 gram baby potatoes. You can take normal big potatoes also. I just boiled them with enough salt and peeled the skin. Now with the help of a fork I am just pricking the potatoes. Now I am going to marinate this boiled potato with 2 teaspoon of haldi powder. 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, 2 teaspoon of salt and 1 tablespoon of mustard oil. Now we will mix everything very well. Now marination is done. Now in a heated karai take sufficient mustard oil. Now we are going to fry this potatoes in mustard oil. I'm using mustard oil as it gives a rich taste to your dish but you can use white oil or olive oil as per your choice. Now we'll fry the potatoes. Fry the potatoes in high flame only. We'll fry the potatoes till slight reddish. Now this is done. Now after frying the potatoes, we'll keep this aside, and now we will prepare our gravy. Now for this, I have taken five green chilies, ten pieces of cashews, one inch ginger, and two big tomatoes. Now you can use five tablespoon of curd as substitute of tomato. If you don't want to use tomato, you can use curd also. Now we will make a smooth paste of this. Now in a heated karai, I have taken 2 tablespoon of mustard oil and now I am putting 2 teaspoon of sugar and now we will caramelize this. Continuously stir. Then I am adding 2 bay leaves that is tej patta and whole garam masala that is 2 small cinnamon sticks, 5 green cardamoms and few cloves. Now we will add the paste which we have made earlier. Now sort this very well in high flame for almost 8 to 10 minutes. Till you see the oil is separating. Now we'll add 2 teaspoon of haldi powder, 2 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, 2 teaspoon of dhania powder, 1 teaspoon of jeera powder. Now we'll add little water and again sort this very well for another 5 to 7 minutes in high flame. You need to continuously stir. Now cover the lid and put the gas in low flame. After few minutes again open the lid and sort. You can see the masala is now well cooked and now at this point we will add half cup frozen peas. You can add fresh peas also. Now again mix this very well. Now we will add half liter water. and uh, we'll add salt as per taste now mix everything very well and cover the lid and we'll allow this to boil now when it starts boiling add the fried potatoes and we'll again cover the lid Now to bring the beautiful aroma of the dish, here I am adding 1 tablespoon of fennel seeds. In Hindi you call this soft and in Bengali you call this mori. Now make a fine powder of this. You can't make a fine powder with this small amount so I will advise you to add some sugar then it will be easier you, for you to grind. 
Now add this fennel powder in your aludam gravy. Mix everything very well. Now your aludam is almost done. I'm adding some crushed kasuri methi and one teaspoon of garam masala and mix everything very well. You can switch off the flame now and cover the lid for few minutes. Lastly, I have added some fresh chopped coriander leaves. Now, in this pure veg dishes, if you add some hing, it enhances the taste. So, at the end, in a tarka pan, I'm adding one tablespoon of ghee and then I'm adding one teaspoon of hing and two dry red chili. This is, you can say, one of the key ingredients which will make the dish super yummy. Now add this in aloo dam and mix well and immediately cover the lid. You can see the texture. Your aloo dam is now ready. Without onion and garlic, your aloo dam can also be very tasty and yummy. Enjoy this with puri, fried rice, bashanti pola, roti, paratha. Actually, it goes with everything. Try this recipe and do let me know your feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.